Hi, I'm Britt Carlson for Oroville Hospital, and today I'm joined by Dr. Beth Johnston. Thanks, Dr. Johnston, for being here with us today. And first, we'd just like to know a little bit about you and how long you've been at Oroville Hospital. Well, I've been here for about two and a half years. Before that, I was at the University of Nebraska um, in Omaha. I worked at the VA there for a year, and I did my residency there in general surgery. I did my medical school at Loma Linda University in Southern California, and, but I was raised in Northern California. I grew up in Santa Rosa and Concord and um, went to college in the Napa Valley, so I um, was very happy to come back to Northern California. It's mm -hmm. a good place to be. Mm -hmm. Now, you do a lot of general surgeries, but uh, you do have a focus in particular on breast cancer. Now, why is that a special interest for you? You know, as I was going through my surgery residency, I enjoyed all different types of surgery, but I particularly found that I really liked working with women who are dealing with breast cancer and men as well. Um, it's a little known fact that there are men that can get breast cancer too. And there's this unique set of things that goes along with breast cancer where we work as a team. I work with the oncologists, the radiation oncologists, the radiologists, and um, the medical oncologists to help take care of a woman as a whole both mentally, physically, spiritually, everything that goes along with that. And I really found that very rewarding. And now it seems like that's becoming even more official, I guess you could say, with the new breast cancer program at mm -hmm. Oroville Hospital. Tell us a little bit about uh, the specialties of it and why you're so excited about it. Well, I'm really thrilled about it. First of all, uh, it's gonna be a cohesive program where we are able to meet on a bi-weekly basis and discuss both new patients and old patients and their ongoing care. Also, we're gonna have a nurse navigator that helps patients through the system. They see a lot of different doctors in a short amount of time. They don't always know when to come back for their follow-up appointments. And this person's gonna be a real integral part of, of helping with that. And also dealing with some of our survivorship programs. So women that have had breast cancer in the past, able to kind of mentor those that are coming along new and get the follow-up care that they need um, after breast cancer. So I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and I think the word that you used was patient-centric. So obviously this is a new program, but how much more do you think this really will improve just the care and services and I guess the overall feeling of the patient as they're having to go through such a difficult time facing breast cancer? Yeah, well, you know, breast cancer can be such a scary thing. Um, when you first get that diagnosis, or even before you get the diagnosis, when somebody tells you there's an abnormality and, and you're not sure if it's cancer or not, um, I really feel that our program here will be able to guide women through that. And also to help them realize that even though they get a scary diagnosis of cancer, that we have ways of treating it now that can make it much easier for them. It's not the same old thing that people used to do. They, ah, I have cancer, I must get my entire breast removed immediately. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different ways that we have of treating cancer now. And it's much um, more, focused on your individual diagnosis, which is really a neat thing. All right, and if patients do have other questions about the new breast cancer program, how can they contact you? They should definitely give Oroville Hospital a call and they can hook them up with the breast cancer program. All right. Thank you, Dr. Johnston. Lots of great information and congratulations on the new program. Thank you.